we got a 2023 Candle Day Bath and Body Works with some other goodies. Haul for y'all. really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole if you are new. Today I have a Bath and Body Works haul for y'all. We did go to Candle Day 2023. I went in store the actual day, not until about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. If you are an OG subscriber and I used to do these Bath and Body Works hauls all the time, I used to do preparation candle day videos for y'all all the time. Things have a change. It was, it was crazy because of old candle days versus new candle days going in at three o'clock and there being a million candles in, in inventory and it was crowded, but nothing like the, the olden days. So I will say it is definitely a change. I know most of you guys purchase online. I did have some coupons that I used, so I wanted to go in store and I like to go in store and sniff the candles too. And especially as of late, I feel like Bath and Body Works performance on candles is hit or miss. So let me show you what we guys got. First off, I appreciate that they put in this nice like bag, so cute, annual candle day. The employees there were so nice, I have to say, from past years I've experienced as well. So we had a good experience overall. So everything I purchased, I got seven candles, three of the car fragrance refills and a body wash with tax. I spent a grand total of $76.77 which I did not think was bad. This year the candles were priced at what, $9.95? $9.95 and I had a coupon, so that made a really good deal. They've been not the best price the past couple years, so that's why I went this year for Candle Day. Now I did get most of these for myself. I'm the worst, y'all let me know in the comments down below, like when you go and buy intentions are for gifts and you're like, that would be great for me, that would be great for me. I am the world's worst at that. I need to get better at it, but some of these will be gifts for teachers and most of them are for me, let's just be honest. So we're gonna start with the non-candle things because I don't have that many. I did get the winter candle candy apple body wash. This is one of my all-time favorite scents. However, in a candle, the throw is never good when I buy it in a candle, so I skip that and I just get the body wash. Usually get the spray, I just got the wash today and this was one of my freebies with a coupon so I got this one absolutely free regular price at $15.95 if you've never smelled winter candy apple or used their like body smith mist and stuff give it a try it's one of my absolute favorites and then I was disappointed honestly in the car sense because online they had so many good Christmas ones and in store they only had three Christmas scents they had a mistletoe, golden berry mistletoe, which this one smelled really good from the little sniff tester. So I got two of them because out of the three that they had, I didn't like one of the other ones. And tis the season. I really wish they would have had fresh, fresh balsam. That was what I love the Christmas tree scent. And they didn't have it for the car, but I do like these for the car or what I like to do, a little Bath and Body Works cheaper non, a little hack there. If you get the like stand up for breeze, what is it, the small spaces, little fragrance thing and put those in your car, like in your cup holder or whatever. They smell so good and they last longer than these, but they're about the same price because I caught these on a sale, but it is what it is. Just letting you guys know. Let's get into the candles, shall we? So the first one that I have is Raspberry Thumbprint. Now I had never heard, I haven't, look, from my candle connoisseurs out there, I have not been to Bath and Body Works in a while for Christmas candles so some of these could be old as the hills and i wouldn't even know raspberry thumbprint and the notes on it are buttery shortbread rich raspberry jam sprinkled with powdered sugar with natural essential oils this one smells i picked this one up on a whim like on the way to the register look how pretty if you guys can see like the reindeer on the lid i will say the lids on these on point next level love that it smells like shortbread cookie, but strong raspberry sweet scent. I love that combination of like a vanilla cookie and a, a fruity mixed together. Love it. I really want to keep this one for myself, uh, but I need to give this one as a gift. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to do good and give that one as a gift. Next one, they had a bunch of non Christmas scents um, on different tables that were exclusive to candle day. It said, I don't know if that's real or not, but I saw this bag is in the way. The Blueberry Lemon Sour. This was one that I picked up and smelled. My sister also got it because it smells so freaking good. The notes, the, notes, uh, the notes on it are sugar lemonade and blueberry sugar with natural essential oils. Oh, if you love the lemonade or the lemon scent from Bath & Body Works, very powerful in that, but it has that, again, fruity background scent. It does have the cute little like 
pies and if y'all can see that pies and cakes lid love it so i got that one for me that one's definitely for me <laughs> i know so bad and then i got this one i love this like marble packaging oh it's kind of just plain basic but i love that caramel frappuccino and the notes are rich cold brew this is why i picked i didn't even look at the notes i just smelled it and said it smells so good but i love and i'm a sucker for all their coffee candles rich cold brew coffee frothy milk sweet caramel syrup blended with ice with natural essential oils the notes on these are getting a little cray i must say a bath and body works blended with i mean come on Oh, this, I should have got multiples of this when it smells so good. It smells straight up like coffee, milk, like infused coffee. Like I, now I'm getting to be like the notes from Bath and Body Works. It smells just like that. Holy smokes. This one smells so good. I'm a sucker for any of their coffee ones. I hope the throw on that one's good. Next, let's see what we got. Oh, this is one that I get all the time and it usually does have great throw. Their OG hot cocoa and cream. There was also like a milk chocolate peppermint one it smelled great i almost picked that one up but i was like oh let's just stick with the whole chocolate look at the lid on this they all have different lids that's crazy right with the lid assortment they got going on so hot cocoa and cream is decadent milk chocolate fresh steamed milk mini marshmallows and they all say with natural essential oils like oh it just smells like chocolate it smells like straight up hot cocoa it is so good smelling and usually the throw is always fire on this one and i did love like this background of this packaging with the hot chocolate i thought it was simple but on point i almost had a catastrophe these almost like fell off and like broke everywhere that would have been bad next okay og i had to get a christmas tree one and i usually am always a sucker for fresh balsam I kept going back and forth. I kept smelling it and smelling this one, which is Tree Farm. And the notes are crisp pine needle, warm cedar, spiced apple. I think the added apple to this is what I like. It's not as musky as the fresh balsam per se. It's got a little something extra in it. It smells very prominent pine tree, but you get a little like background of sweetness from the apple. And I don't think it's as like overpowering as the fresh balsam. That used to be my jam, but as I get older, my tastes have changed and my smells have changed, I will tell you. And fresh balsam now, sometimes when I burn candles like that, they like give me a headache and they make me sick. So I can't do it, but I really wanted to get one Christmas tree smelling and tree farm out of the two that they had. I didn't see Mary Mistletoe, y'all remember that one? And they have another one too, but this is the one that I got this year. And then I know this is a quick haul, but we got, we didn't get as many candles as we usually, but I'm trying to, to not go crazy with all this spending. Y'all know the times are crazy. I got two of these. One of these is for me. One of these is definitely going to be a gift, but they had some cute sayings for some candles for Christmas with like pina colada scents and just your regular non-Christmassy scents, but they had Christmas packaging, if that makes sense, which I thought was really cute. I love the ornaments, lids on these, really pretty. Again, like, can you believe almost every one that I picked up has a different lid? That, they've really stepped up their lid game at Bath & Body Works. This is the Claws Mopolitan. I mean, the, the different names on these, I was like, wow, somebody's super clever. It's got like wine glasses and Santa hats and mixers and all kinds of cute stuff on it. But let me tell you, this thing smells fire. I don't even know what the notes are. When I look at the notes, it's going to be, it's going to be like an aha moment for me. Cause my sister and I kept smelling it. We're like, what does this smell like? We know we've smelled this before and that's why we like it so much, but what the hell does it smell like? And it was too crazy in there. I was not looking at notes. I was look, barely able to sniff anything. It is up on the rooftop bar. <laughs> Santa's taken a little detour to meet Mrs. Claus for drinks. It don't even tell me the exact notes. Come on. But I love that little description. I mean, how freaking cute is that? Santa's taking a little detour to meet Mrs. Claus for drinks. Bath and Body Works. So somebody is like creative the house somewhere. Oh my gosh. It smells like lemon, pink lemonade, something or other. If you've got this one and you are smelling it, or you've burned it, you let me know in the comments what you think this smells like. But it's definitely got like some kind of lemon citrus uh pink lemonade vibes going on but it's got like a sweet af undertone i don't know but i was this is my favorite one to be honest with you guys out of all the ones that i picked up this one i could smell all day i hope the throw is amazing because gosh this one's good if they go on clearance or something i gotta stock up but i got two of them because i thought somebody would definitely love this as a gift 
So that is everything, I know, short and sweet, but we haven't done a Bath and Body Works haul in forever. I try not to buy that much. I use my rewards when I go in there and get free gifts and just a couple of things. Hand soaps is what I really go ham on most of the year. I don't like the wallflowers, y'all know. Um, and I do like the, the certain scents for the bath wash. So it's rare that I get wasted at Bath and Body Works, hence why you don't see hauls anymore. But I am gonna try to get wasted on a hand soap deal if they have one in the next week or so for gifts. So y'all let me know in the comments if you would want to see another Bath and Body Works little haul, I'm sure, with some hand soaps and maybe some other goodies if they have stuff on sale. But that's going to do it for Candle Day 2023. If you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you. And thanks again for watching. It's been a long time since we've done one. Y'all let me know what your favorite candle scent is from Bath and Body Works, and if you shopped on Candle Day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.